Hi, I'm Pete Delahorse, Director of Field Support here at Crown Plastics Company, and welcome to this edition of Make It Stick. The video series, where by utilizing our unique capability here at Crown Plastics Company, we can take our Durasurf UHMW products and make them stick for you. What we want to talk to you today is about how to deal with a textured substrate. As many of you know, a pressure sensitive system is primarily going to like something very smooth. The smoother the substrate, the better. A lot of times if it is textured, we may want to lean to a treated for bonding product or something with an epoxy. But there are some adhesive options that we can look at in dealing with a textured substrate. All right, now what we're looking at here are a couple different very, very textured substrates, but also very different substrates in the sense of the uh, amount of texture that we're going to be dealing with. Now if we're dealing with a metal substrate, again pressure sensitive systems really like metal. So in taking a look at it you're going to have to make a determination if you think a pressure sensitive system or an epoxy system may be more appropriate. Now there are some pressure sensitive systems that can work with some sec textured substrates but you have to be able to identify which adhesive system is going to be most appropriate. For instance, Avery makes a product called an 1126. This is a tachified acrylic. It's very soft, okay, but it's also what's called a transfer tape, which means there's no carrier in there. If ever you're going to deal with a, with a uh, textured substrate similar to this, you're not going to want to use either an 8345 or 8346 or anything with a carrier web in it because it's only going to limit how much adhesive can get into those peaks and valleys. You're going to want to go with a transfer tape. It's solid adhesive no carrier so it's going to allow you to press that adhesive down into those uh, nooks and crannies and those highs and lows. This product being a very very soft acrylic will allow you to do that. Avery also makes a couple of rubber products uh, in their UHA line called an Avery 1191 and Avery 1198. While the 1126 is only 5 mils these products are both 8 mils and 11 mils. So again, it's a transfer tape, solid mass of adhesive, so you get the opportunity to press a lot of adhesive down into those highs and lows. A couple other options that you do have available are foam adhesive tapes, and you can get these in any variety up to 1 eighth of an inch, up to as thick as a quarter of an inch foam tape. And again, due to the fact that it's a foam tape, it's very conformable, very pliable. This also allows you to work down and maybe even more textured substrates such as the one here on the right, which is the diamond plate. The other option would be a VHB product, which is produced by 3M. Avery also has a line called XHA products. And uh, whereas these foam tapes are basically a coated polyethylene foam, these are say anywhere from 20 thousandths up to a 16 inch thick of solid adhesive. So again, just a solid mass of adhesive. It's a little expensive, but again, depending on the substrate that you're dealing with, it might be the best alternative. What I'd like to do real quickly is I'm actually gonna take a piece of some UHMW. This is about 100 thousandths of an inch thick. And this is actually laminated with the Avery 1191. So this is 11 mils of adhesive. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna peel the liner off here and we're gonna bond this down. And we should be able to very, uh, actually push this down into the, the highs and lows of this substrate uh, pretty well. And again, once it's in place, you want to use the roller and again, apply good mechanical pressure. Keep in mind that when you use a roller, you will literally double the bond strength. Okay, hand pressure is never sufficient. So always remember to use your ruler. And there you see we've got a very, very good sufficient bond. Now what I'd like to do is on this diamond plate, this is some of the 3M VHB tape that I've got on this particular product here. And uh, we're actually gonna press this down onto the diamond plate. Now also keep in mind that when you're dealing with acrylic adhesives, the rubber adhesives are going to max out to the first thing they touch, max out their bonds. These are going to get immediate, very, very high bond. The acrylic adhesives, and again, we do have a very, very good secure bond onto this diamond plate. 
but the VHB tapes actually have a 72 hour cure. Most of the acrylic adhesives are gonna have a 24 hour cure. The VHBs being as thick as they are, they won't completely max out their bond for 72 hours. So again, taking a look at the different textures that we have here, we do have options that we can use, but again, we need to make sure we're asking the right questions and getting the right information. All right, so what are we gonna take away from the video that you saw today? Obviously, we're dealing with a textured substrate, so this is gonna raise some questions as far as number one, the adhesive selection we're gonna go with, pressure sensitive or treated for bonding. Number two, being able to identify is there any energy absorption or any noise abatement, which is gonna require us to maybe go with a foam adhesive product. But then number three, if we are gonna go with a pressure sensitive system and we are dealing with a textured substrate, we have to make sure that we understand we must use a transfer tape, not a double coated product. It might require a foam adhesive, it might require a VHB tape or a solid acrylic mass of foam. But it's being able to understand these things that are gonna really help us make that application successful. If there's a product that you would like us to see feature on Make It Stick, please contact us at crownplastics.com and let us show how we can make it stick for you.